These trainer gallery cards are way too cheap. We're doing another deep dive. This time we're doing Brilliant Source Trainer Gallery. We're going to touch on the, the, the upper cards, but we're going to really focus on cards that I think have the most potential to like two, three, four, five X in price. We're just going to jump straight into it. Obviously, let's touch on the, the high dollar cards now. Obviously, we saw the Umbreon, the VMAX, and the V because of the Moonbreon and stuff and the other uh, V. We saw these cards absolutely take off. And you can see over this, especially over the six month chart, but even in the, on the three month chart here, you know, and we've seen this card come down quite a bit, which is, which is good for people to be able to pick up. And here's the, uh, the VMAX similar thing, right? These got pumped. Now the Sylveon, uh, both of those kind of had a similar thing and the Mimikyu's up there, but we're going to be focusing on uh, a few of these other cards, right? Now, what I want to touch on first is right here the uh, evolutions of these right so let's just jump straight into vaporeon this card these cards are undervalued i don't care what anybody says there is no way that this in the future is not like a ten dollar card okay you, you can pick this up for five dollars all day look at the chart let's look at it so like on the one year i mean it did see a pretty big increase you know it went from two two to three bucks you know up to like five six guys there is room for this to 2x, 3x, maybe even 4x over time. These these cards are, this artwork is too good. These Pokemon are too popular. It is possible. And it is possible when you look at these. Look at the prices of these cards. Okay. Sylveon, $25, right? I know that these are the yellow borders. And you guys can say whatever you want about the yellow borders. If you don't like them, they will be nostalgic. People will want the yellow borders. Okay. Maybe not everybody, but some people will. Same thing. Let's look at the Flareon. There is no way that this should be a $3 card. Look at this. Okay? I'm telling you guys. $3 card. This should be same thing. There's no way that this is not at least 10 in the future. That's And if you're picking this up in the threes, you're, you're over tripling your money. That's it's doing real well. Now let's look at the Jolteon. They're all in this like kind of similar little uptick. Same thing. There is no way that this card should be two dollars and eighty cents, three dollars. Okay, guys, these cards are good. And yes, I know that they're hard to grade uh, because they have a lot of scratches and stuff, and just kind of the way they were printed, the the quality is not quite there. The textured cards tend to do better, and I acknowledge that. And we're going to talk about PSA ten prices as well. But then let's talk about the Eevee. So the the new Eevee from uh, Masquerade is what in like in the forties, right? Here's another great card. Like, there's no way that this is a two to three dollar card same thing even if this doesn't quite have the strength that the the evolutions have how could this not be you know at that eight to ten dollar range it is 100 percent possible once brilliant brilliant stars those boxes the prices start to rise and i know that these cards are there's lots of them out there but i'm telling you guys right now eventually these cards are going to take off i can't tell you when but these cards are going to move now since we pulled these up, I just want to take a look at these uh, in a PSA 10 real quick. So this is what is on eBay right now. So I find this kind of interesting. Well, starting with the Jolteon, the cheapest you can get is $75. And these are the only listings on here. Like you're looking at them. So there's six listings for this Jolteon. Once this card, once this sells out and this sells out, it's now a $100 card. Okay? Do you guys understand? In a 10. So this can be a hundred dollars in a 10. It's got, it's going to have more room eventually. Uh, this is low, low supply right now. Let's take a look at the Vaporeon. Same thing. There's only a few. Look at, these are all of the ones for, this is for buy now. Obviously there is uh, some auctions and stuff, but I'm talking buy now. You know, once this gets out of this, this is already over a hundred dollar card because these are the only ones available with the shipping. You're over a hundred. So the Vaporeon's already over a hundred. Where is it going to, you know, where is it going to settle long term? The EV is a little bit more affordable, which makes sense, which was kind of why I was saying the raw value would be less. But kind of a similar thing. There's only a few copies out here right now. And it's, we're not that far away from five results. You know, we're not that far away from seeing this be a $100 card in a PSA 10. You can pick it up right now for 75 So, and then, yeah, the Flareon... There's one. There's one available. 
in a PSA 10 by now on eBay for a hundred bucks. Okay. So I do understand that they're hard to grade and you know, but if you're picking up, so if you're coming here and you're picking up these copies for three, four five bucks, multiple copies, and then you get some gradable ones, then you're, those are really good plays, right? Now, also what I do want to touch on is I've talked about these in some other videos, but I just want to just want to bring them up again while we're here. A couple cards that I think have um, some more room as well. And it's actually Urshifu. We're going to just click on these. Uh, and because I think these artworks are really good. And because Urshifu is one of the big, uh, the alt arts from Battle Styles. Now, I don't think that these have necessarily the room to do the 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x per se. I mean, it is possible, but if you want to look at, and I know Umbreon is like a different beast in and of itself, but if you guys are looking at the Umbreon, exactly what happened, the Moonbreon was too expensive, so then they went to the V from Evolving Skies, and then they went to the VMAX and the V from Brilliant Source Trainer Gallery, because people want the cards, and when they become popular, and too expensive that you just go next down the line right we see this we see this happen in pokemon all the time like there's your prime example happens with every card can't afford you know the most expensive you're going to work down to the next coolest this happens in sports you can't afford the uh the rookie card of i don't know uh patrick mahomes lebron james you can't afford the rookie cards you go to oh i can get a second year card can't afford the second year card oh and then you get the third year card you see what i'm saying so that's just human nature people want to get the next best thing and once again not the most popular pokemon but I do think that this this card has room to run, and you're picking this up for the, you know, six five six six dollar range, and I do think that I like this artwork actually the most of these, and I think that this one has the most room to run. I have several copies of this already in a PSA ten. I was able to pick them up for like sub thirty, which I thought was a steal. Now, it might take some time for this to catch on, but I think that there is room. Um, room for this card. I don't see why this card couldn't be, uh, you know, at that eight to ten dollar range at least as well. Even if it hits eight dollars and you're picking up for under three, you guys are doing really well. So multiple copies. You know what I'm saying? So then there's this one. I think is probably the weakest of all of these, but it still has a little bit of room, and it kind of comes with like some people might want the set of all of these, and there's a lot of Vershifus in here. So um, so just keep that in mind. Once again, this one's kind of a weaker one, but let's take a look at some of the uh, the other cards here that I think are worth mentioning. I think that I don't know where the ceiling would be on this card, but I do really like this artwork with this with the Pokemon, the Bolton, and the and the trainer here. Um, once again, I could see all of these have room to move up these lower cards, and you did you do see a sale right here for eight dollars, so that is that is interesting, but. You know, I, once again, I could see this being around eight dollars. So if you're picking it up, you know, four, three to four or five dollars, um, you know, there's room on this card as well. Potentially in the future, you know, maybe not. Maybe not uh, one of the most popular. Um, these ones could end up having some some potential upside because there's kind of an art sale they don't really do anymore. Uh, for me, if I'm placing my bet. I'm not really leaning into these ones unless it's a way more popular Pokemon like the the Rayquaza or the Pikachu and the Mew that are in the similar art styles. Um, also, though, like even when you start to look at this card and you start to look at some of the new, you put this in context of the new Scarlet and Violet cards that are coming out. There's a lot of really colorful cards coming out like this that that look like this. And I don't know if this the illustrator is doing some of the new Scarlet and Violet. I don't know, but you start to look at this card and you're picking this up. One of these last sales near mint for 40 cents so if you're picking up near mint copies for 40 cents i i see that there's a few in here 40 cents obviously 80 you know if you're picking this up for 80 cents 40 cents i could this card be you know a two three dollar card sure so a 40 cent card that now says at two dollars that's quite a quite a big flip as well so you gotta. You also gotta think about your timetable of flipping. Are you looking to flip these quick or long term? If you're doing investing, a lot of the times it's long term. Uh, also, this Houndoom is really undervalued, in my opinion. I think that Houndoom is, uh, you know, being one of an early gen Pokemon is too good to be at sixty cents for a near mint copy. 
So once again, worst case scenario, like say this is a $2 card and you're picking up multiple copies at 60 cents and you're able to sell them for two, you know, that's a lot of work, but there's, you know, that's, you're over tripling your, your input there. And then, you know, some of these other cards, I would say, you know, they're kind of all about the same. I do like, uh, I do like this artwork over here. I like the colors here, like Octillery's, Octillery's okay. Um, you know, and like this one at 43 cents, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to tell you of these ones though, I'm going to pick a little bit of a sleeper and it's the Al Kremi. And I'll tell you why. And I've talked about this before. If you've watched a lot of my other videos and it has to do with Scarlet and Violet and the show Pokemon Horizons, which is like the new anime. They finally got away from Ash. Well, this Pokemon is in it and it's really adorable. So I'm just saying that uh, as kids watching this might might want this card because it is it is a nice artwork like they all are nice right but you know same thing 60 cents 50 cents pick up multiple copies you know i'm sounding like a broken record but i'll creme i'm just telling you guys there might be something there okay um just just keep that in mind it's real adorable in the show if you haven't seen it check it out but you know kids are going to want a lot of the Pokemon that are seen and he's one of the main Pokemon in the crew, you know, he helped, he's like the chef's Pokemon. So yeah. And there's a whole episode about him, but yeah, that is going to do it for, for this trainer gallery. I've been kind of just doing, uh, we did all the trainer galleries I think now, and we did the Galarian gallery. I just am trying to focus on cards that I think are overlooked, lesser valued and they're overlooked now until the prices rise and then everybody will be like oh I, I like that i like that so uh, i'm just trying to stay a little bit ahead of the curve not all of these cards are going to hit and not all of them are going to hit some of the prices i'm saying but some most likely are so use your best judgment there that's gonna do it for this one guys thank you so much for watching appreciate you guys leave me a comment uh down below let me know what you guys think i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase